I'm Erin Hafkinchill. I'm director of the Mayor's Office of Transportation Sustainability for Mayor Megan Barry. Um, it's a really small portfolio, so we're working on um, everything related to transportation, transit, sidewalk, walking and biking, as well as sustainability, carbon emissions, cleaner air, open space, um, so a really wide range of issues. Okay, so under Mayor Barry, she has proposed a new $5.2 billion transit plan for Nashville. Can you describe that program? Yes, we're super excited. Let's Move Nashville is a $5.2 billion infrastructure investment in transit. It includes four light rail lines, including an underground tunnel in downtown, um, four rapid bus lines, and a pretty massive expansion in our bus system, a 50% increase in our bus fleet, and 41% increase in service hours. This is a big plan for Nashville. Can you put it in context of other transit initiatives. It's absolutely the biggest. Right. Um, I think if you are familiar with Nashville, we're 1.8 million person region and we're going to grow by about a million people over the next 25 years. Um, a couple of the major initiatives that have happened in Nashville recently have been very sports related. So we built the Titan Stadium, we built the um, Predator Stadium, we just built a new convention center. Um, so this would be an infrastructure investment that would be similar to those, but would be countywide, not just something that's happening downtown. So it's definitely a big project. What is the time frame for Let's Move Nashville, Nashville and uh, what are your next steps? Um, so, it, like you said, the Let's Move Nashville was announced last Tuesday, yes. um, and it, 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 our hope is that it will be on a referendum in May of 2018. Um, we're doing sort of public comment and, and open houses over the next couple of months, and then it will be up to our Metro Council to put it on the ballot in sort of the January-February time frame, and then hopefully it will be on the ballot on May 1st. Great. Does this big program connect with other initiatives to make uh, Nashville more walkable or more equitable? How does it tie in with other um, other plans for the city? It absolutely ties in. Two, two small examples. So um, previous to the announcement of the Let's Move Nashville plan, um, Mayor Barry released Moving the Music City, which was her three-year action agenda, which included um, plans for Vision Zero, reducing traffic fatalities. Um, and she really sort of saw that as setting the table for this transit plan. What are the things we can do in a three-year period that's fiscally constrained, that puts together all of our different modal plans, walking, biking, transit, um, mm -hmm. to, to really make some quick change? The second initiative you were talking about with affordability is um, she has had a really impressive commitment to affordable housing. She has upped the city's commitment to the Barnes Fund, which is Metro funding for um, affordable housing. Mm -hmm. And our goal is to tie our transit plan with our affordable housing plan so that you have more affordable housing along transit corridors. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.